What's up, everyone? This is my submission for the Instructables competition. It's an architecture competition that utilizes small spaces. I chose to make an underwater home that uses recycled oil trucks, or at least the cylinder that's on them that holds the oil. It has a bedroom, and this is just a quick little fly through of the area inside. It has a bedroom, it has a kitchen, it has a little sofa, and it has a bathroom. There's also a stairway that leads up to the surface and I did a few renderings, so let's check those out. I used a mesh mountain just for the background of it, and then I used a backdrop that is a underwater scene, and then as you can see, there's a little mesh shark. I tested it out with different lightings, and I think they came out pretty well. Yeah, and this one's just with the warm lighting. So when making this, um, I first started with the frame, which is this frame is I'm calling the whole um, two cylinders, the stairwell and the main living quarters. So the living quarters, I first just started with a cylinder and then I rounded off the edges to give it that um, tanker look and I used the dimensions of a actual oil truck and this matches up very well with it. So this could theoretically be made out of those. And then this is like the stairway column I built this at a 37 degree angle because I thought, um, first I thought I was going to do 45 degrees, but then I looked it up and apparently stairs aren't 45 degrees, it's not very comfortable. So I used a 37 or 35 degree angle, I'm not sure exactly. But to do this, I used a tang tangent plane on the main cylinder, and then I could draw the sketch on there and extrude from there. And a difficult part with this was um, having to make the stairs inside that. Um, stairway column. You have to use a lot, of, utilize a lot of planes because the surface is very round. And to do this, I created, as you can see, a lot of planes. But for the stairway column, I created two tangent planes that are vertical from it. And then from there, I've created a midpoint plane that's in between those two. So this intersects the middle of the stairway column. And this will allow you to make a sketch that goes right down the middle of it to give you some easily centralized stairs. So this is what that sketch looks like. You can see it just looks like a bunch of triangles that I will then extrude later to create the stairs. So this part I had to use some unique techniques and I utilized a lot of um, section analysis tool which is just the cross section tool to see what you're building as you can see right here. And then I started making the furniture after this. So furniture there is a bed and for there I just imported the frame I had before and then used the projections from that to create the um, furniture in there just to make sure I have the right size and the right placement of it. So the bed was pretty simple. Uh, same with the stressor I created. I used the textures that come with Fusion 360 to make these tech, um, furniture look the way they do. And again I use the section analysis a lot to make sure the placement's correct, same with the height and just how it fits inside the room. Um, I haven't really used the section analysis tool until this project and I really love it now. So as you can see there's a big glass window on the side that is just a body that is uh, has a different appearance and it's a clear appearance. So then I built the kitchen in here. So the kitchen is just one big block with a bunch of different textures on it and I did the same thing for this one. I imported the frame from before and then started sketching on there. As you can see on the counter, I made a little sink, a cutting board, a knife, some like stovetop elements, and they can be interpreted however you'd like. And then I just created like a little mini fridge with an oven at the front. So by using the importing the new elements, it's very easy to just create and then place these later when you need to. So then I created this little brown sofa that sits on the side so people will have somewhere to just sit in the kitchen really. This one's pretty simple, same technique. Um, imported it, sketched it out, used the projections from the frame model. And then for this I just rounded off the edges of the couch to make it look a bit softer and then I put a cloth texture on that to finish it off. And then all these, the little side room on the end 
is the bathroom. So what that has is a shower and a toilet. So that little space right there, right off the stairs, and has a good amount of space, I'd say. So for that, I just shelled out a little extruded block that looks like a toilet and then create a little door for a glass shower. For the animation at the beginning, I just use the animation tab in Fusion 360 and I use the camera angles just to go around the structure and then when actually going down the staircase I move the entire structure towards you but it gives you the illusion that you're actually walking down into it but for the rest of it I'm just using camera movements it can be a little bit jerky because I'm not too good with using the camera movements but um, I think it came out pretty well it shows the interior and I thought it was a cool approach having to actually move the whole structure towards you. But yeah, thank you for watching.